I'm from Oakland, where worldly problems aren't fixed but still broken. Things like metaphors and poetry can't help us when one person speaks them only. We are now deemed for peaceful living, supposedly. For example, housing crisis in our hometowns. Messed up by the government, time to break it down and reroute, time to go back to the mothership, but we're still posted in McDonald's and loving it. They call it community beautification. It's probably because we look too damn good. But when it's something so beautiful ended in gentrification and mass incarceration, with the same slavery used during taxation without representation, it's time for us to make some new aspirations and transformations, from ghetto to gods and goddesses, as Amina Ahmad said, to evoke a true emancipation and to inspire our future generations. We are the lessons and the treasures and the blessings. We must start raising action starters and start progressing. Our little sliver of the world is a treasure. We must start living our lives to the fullest beyond measure. We could put our fists down so we could elevate our love. Higher power sent this special place for us from above. We must now set ourselves some new mindsets to see our two hands plant and grow. We must sustainably live a new life set. Whatever happened to our mamas teaching us how to sew, now take a minute, open a book and explore. We could be getting money or utilizing our lands filled of milk and honey. All you gotta do is give knowledge to the kids. Captivate their minds with knowledge and inspire the time to apply to college. This is a worldly conceptual poem, but I'd rather sing it like mama did when she was making short ribs. I'd rather be a queen or a king simultaneously. See, my voice is small, but together we can never stop singing. I am 5'5", five five, but we must start teaching that even the smallest have the capacity to leave the ears of the oppressed ringing with hope. All we gotta do is live and be us. We don't even need a front, just love and discuss on the school buses. We are the fathers and the mothers and the martyrs. We are the smartest and we learn that from, the, from our mamas. We are the light, we are the life of our city. So damn hood, but so damn pretty. It is our time now.